This is ANN News Brief. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed may face a challenge from prominent activist Jawa Mohammed in next year's election. Jawa told Reuters News on Friday his decision is as a result of days of demonstrations by his supporters in which dozens died. It was Jawa's strength in putting together demonstrations that boosted Abiy Ahmed to power last year. The Prime Minister had come uh, a long way in instituting sweeping political and economic reforms. That notwithstanding, Jawa supporters held protest against Abi Hamed last week after Jawa complained that police had surrounded his home and tried to withdraw his government security detail. Police Commissioner for Romia said on Friday, 62 protesters, including five police officers, were killed in the region in two days of protest. Abi won the Nobel Peace Prize this month for fostering regional peace. Villagers in Bosaso, Somalia, have said a U.S. drone strike, which was actually targeted at the Islamic State hideout in Somalia's eastern region of Portland, has killed two Frankenese collectors. Another person was also reported injured after the drone strike hit others in the remote Amira village in the Gullis Mountain region of Somalia's northeastern Bari province. U.S. Africa Command says it conducted the airstrike and targeted IS terrorists in the region. U.S. Africa refuted local claims of civilian casualties, saying it killed three terrorists and no civilians were harmed. Africa Command Director of Public Affairs, Colonel Chris Kearns, stressed to a Voice of America News that airstrikes in the region often create organizational confusion. The area of the airstrike is a known hideout for IS militants. Locals also have as gold and frankincense there using traditional Sufi religious ceremonies. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. A group that had been taken hostage by rebels from the Central African Republic has been freed by the Cameroon military. The rebels took 22 locals hostage two weeks ago and held them for ransom. But the military's raid on Garoa Balua late last week led to freedom for the 13 Central Africans and Cameroonians. Cameroon Army Colonel Dominic Njonkon, who is commander of the troops that carried out the raid, said five of the abductors were killed. Cameroon shares a 1,000 kilometer boundary with the Central African Republic. Many armed gangs have set up bases in eastern Cameroon since 2013 when conflicts in the neighboring states erupted. Last week, nearly 400 CIA refugees in Cameroon agreed to voluntary repatriation, but a vast majority of the 274,000 refugees in apprehensive about going home because of continued violence. That is NN News Brief. For details of these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.